you've probably heard the saying that if you want to be successful, then you got to be hungry. And that's what we're doing this week. We're talking about being hungry for success. And we're breaking down the word hungry into every single letter so we can really dive into and understand what it means to be hungry. Like people say it, be hungry. You got to be hungry. If you want it, you got to be hungry. And I get it. But sometimes you're hungry and you have something to eat, but you still don't eat it. How many of you have been hungry before? And you went into your fridge, you went into your pantry, you went into your cabinets, and there's food there, but it's just not what you want to eat. So you don't eat it. Instead, you call and place an order for delivery or you decide to go out to eat. But you have what you needed right there. And sometimes you're hungry and because you don't have the option to eat anything else or you're only faced with eating this, you don't eat it because you don't want it. Like, okay. I know I can't be the only person who, as a child, said, Mom, I'm hungry. Okay, well, there's food on the stove, but it wasn't food I wanted to eat. Well, if you want to eat, if you're hungry, you're going to eat what's there. And sometimes kids now will be given that opportunity and they'll choose not to eat, but they're hungry. So I don't want us to think about success as you got to be hungry and you go get to, to get success and you're going to get success, but you don't know what hungry means. Today, I just want to talk to you about being relentless. In order for you to be successful, you have to be relentless. What does relentless mean? It means tenacious. It means determined. It means no matter what happens, you're going to keep going and you're going to keep going with the same energy. You're not going to be weak. You're not going to lose momentum. You're not going to lose energy. Winston Churchill said that success is going from failure to failure with the same enthusiasm. And so when you're relentless, you have the same strength, you have the same determination, you have the same power, you have the same motive, you have the same energy, the same effort, the same mindset, the same intention. And you're going after your success no matter what. The car breaks down, you're still going to make it to wherever you need to go because you're going after your success no matter what. You get fired from your job, but you're going to be relentless and continue to go after whatever it is that you're going after no matter what. Something comes up and you got to pay some bills that you weren't expected paying. Now you're in debt, but you're still going to go after whatever it is that you said you were going after no matter what. Whatever you have set for yourself as success, things are going to happen in life that can slow you down, knock you off track, take you backwards if you let them. But when you're relentless, when you have something that you're really determined to get, it doesn't matter what comes your way that's going to knock you down or try to slow you down or try to hold you back. You're not going to let it because you have the same strength, the same effort, the same energy, the same tenacity, the same determination to get to what you said you wanted to get to. A lot of us will set goals in life that we say we want to achieve, but as soon as the first hiccup comes, I'm going to the gym. I'm going to lose weight. I'm going to stick to it this time. And you roll your way out the door to the gym and you get a phone call from your friend talking about some problems that they had at work. And you was like, well, I'm on my way to the gym. I really, really need you. Can we please? I'm actually pulling up right now and I bought some whatever your favorite meal is. And you like, shoot, let's go. I'll listen to you for a bite. And now you've allowed someone else's troubles and trials to throw you off track from being the person that you said you wanted to be to be successful. But when you're hungry for success and you're relentless, you're not going to allow those things to come into your life. You're going to accept it for what it is and then say, hey, um, I love you. I'm sorry that this happened. We're going to have to talk about this later because I'm on my way to the gym. You're welcome to come with me. But this is the time that I have designated for me to achieve the goal that I've set myself for myself to achieve. And I can't I can't back down. I have to be non-negotiable. You got to be relentless. You got to say you want something and mean it. You have to feel it because here's the thing. If your why, why you have set that thing for success isn't powerful enough to make you get out of bed when you don't want to get out of bed, to stay up late when you don't want to stay up late, to say no to the things that you don't want to say no to and say yes to the things that you don't want to say yes to and do everything opposite of what you want to do or feel like doing in that moment. If your why is not big enough to push you to do that, then you're not going to be successful. You're not going to make it there because something's going to come along with the right price tag and it's going to throw you off your game. 
because you're not you're not allowing yourself to maintain the energy, the momentum, the inspiration, the motivation that you received to do the thing. But instead, you start getting weak. And you start cracking that door open to other opportunities that don't serve your success. Have you ever seen that in life? Like you're so focused on doing something and then someone comes at you like, well, I'll pay you. And folks would do almost anything for a dollar. Like, I can't do this right now. I'll pay you if you could just if you could just outline or read my paper. Please. But this is my time for me. But I'll pay you if you could just go pick up my go pick up my dog from the vet. Like some of us, we have all of these things that we need to be doing, but because we always give of ourselves, people will rely on us and they expect us to always say yes when they come ask us to inconvenience ourselves for them. And these same people won't inconvenience themselves for you. See, they'll do stuff for you, but they only do it if it's in a convenience for what they have going on. Meanwhile, you're over here ripping and running all around town, doing everything you can for all these other people, and you're not being relentless towards your own success. Because now that you're spending energy somewhere else, you don't have that energy, that strength, that power, that momentum to push you towards your goal. So now you go to bed earlier than you were supposed to and you say, I'm going to get to it tomorrow when you know that tomorrow doesn't exist because it's not promised. If you're really hungry for success, if you're really hungry to do the thing that you said you wanted to do and accomplish, you have to go after it. You have to make a way to stay motivated. Like sometimes you'll show up to a conference and you or you show up to a virtual event and you have all of this energy. You feel in the energy from the crowd, the other people on the call, like it's just loud and like you are ready you are pumped you are going to do it i wrote this down this is my goal this year let's go let's go you doing all of that then when the lights go off and the sounds die down and it's just you and it all of that fuel that you had it wasn't yours you were just piggybacking off of somebody else who was really truly ready to do whatever it took to get to their goal that's why you have to have this mentality, this mindset, you have to be self-motivating because life is not going to let up on you. The only time life lets up on you is, when you know, <laughs> and then there's no more life. But while you're still living, while you're still breathing, while you still have functioning mind and limbs and opportunities and new days and passion, this is when you have to be relentless. You can't disperse your energy out to everybody and then expect to be successful. You have to really be determined to hit your goal. You have to hold on to your goal, that life of your dreams, that success, however you define it, whatever it looks like and however long it's gonna take you to get there. You have to hold on to that like your dog holds on to it when you give it a treat or a bone. You know, dogs get aggressive if you give them something and then you put your hand back there and try to take it back. They'll get aggressive with you, right? Anybody had a dog or seen a dog like that? Like they'll legit thank you in one breath with some up eyebrows. And then as soon as you go back to do something, the eyebrows go down, the lips curl back. The, you could just see it like I know the dog looks up at you and in its head is saying, I know good and well. They ain't thinking they about to take this back from me. And then they show you their teeth just to give you the energy of this is mine and I'm holding on to it. And this is a warning for you that I know that you want to be in my space right now, but I don't have time for you in my space right now. And so you got to have that same intensity when it comes to your goal and success. Like I want it. This is mine. You have to claim it as yours right now and receive it as yours right now. And you have to tell everybody and anything that comes up to you that's trying to take something from you that needs to be used to enjoy and do the process so that you can enjoy your success, that this is yours. And whatever it is that you need and want right now, I can't give it to you because I have to focus on what I'm focused on. I'm determined to get this. Like I had cats growing up. I'm a cat person. I love cats. I actually love all animals. And the ones that I don't necessarily like, I can keep them at a distance, but I still care for them. So I had cats growing up. I had four cats, Milo, Kitty, Man Man, and Jasmine. And if any of you know anything about cats, they have this principle. 
If I can get my head through it, then I'm going to get into it. It doesn't matter how big the rest of their body is. If they can get their head through, they're going to be determined to get the rest of them through. Like they're relentless in their pursuit of fitting into the most smallest, tightest, unnecessarily chosen spaces that they can come up with you see the kittens in the shoe you see the cat like how many cat videos have you watched you know you watched them you got the cat that's stuck in the glass jar vase just because the head got in there and then the crazy thing is they'll get in there and they have the audacity to in that confined space be relentless and determined enough to turn themselves around so that their head is sticking out That's how you have to go after your dreams. That's after you go after your goals, that life of success that you want. You got to dive into some of the darkest, tightest places sometimes. And when you get in there, you need to do whatever it takes to turn around and get yourself situated so that you can get to where you're trying to go. And you can't let anybody else or anything else stop you. If you want to sit in this shoe, if you a cat and you want to get in this shoe, you're not going to let anybody have the shoe. If you want to climb into this glass vase, you're going to climb into this glass vase. If you want a life of your dreams, if you want to start that business, if you want to write that book, if you want to start speaking on stage, if you want to be a songwriter, if you want to perform, if you want to help someone lose weight, if you want to help little girls, if you want to help mentor little boys, whatever it is that you want to do, that's your goal in life, that's your passion, that's your purpose that you were created to do. You have to hold on to it and be relentless. You have to go by any means necessary. And keep the same energy. You're going to have some issues that come along the way. Like, I don't like to call setbacks failures. Because the only, to me, the only time you fail is when you have a setback and you give up. And you quit. Then you're a failure to me. But if you're in school and you're doing your best and you're getting an F, you're not a failure unless you stop trying. But if you're like, mom, I need help. Dad, I need help. I'm really, really trying to get this, but I don't understand this. Can we get somebody to help me? And then you get a tutor and now that F turns into a D. And then it turns into a C. And you keep going because you have this momentum and you have this confidence about yourself now. That, okay, okay, then it went back to a C. All right, then it went back to a D. Okay, there's something I missed here. I didn't really study like I needed to. Now that C goes to a B. Like you're not a failure. You just had a setback. But if you have a setback and then you decide to sit back and quit, now you can hold up your surrender flag. You can hold up that F. But Winston Churchill said, failure to failure with the same enthusiasm as success. I'm going to say setback to setback, obstacle to obstacle, adversity to adversity. As long as you keep going with the same enthusiasm, like you ain't going to stop me. You're not going to hold me back. I am determined. I am relentless. I am persevering through whatever comes my way because I know that that is what I want to be successful. I know why I want to be successful and my why is bigger than whatever it is that's trying to stop me. Then you're going to get the mark. You're going to hit your goal. And you're going to live the life of your dreams. But you got to be relentless. You got to go after it. And you can't allow other people to pull away the energy and the power and weaken you so that now you're you're negotiating, you're settling, you're not doing everything that you could have done because you expect to now do it tomorrow and all the other nonsense that comes with excuses. I need you to focus on being relentless today. I need you to focus on exercising your no muscle to the things you need to say no to and yes to the things that even though they may be uncomfortable, even though they may be a little tight, even though it may be a little hard, you're going to say yes to it anyways because you know that the satisfaction that you're going to have from the success when you get there is far beyond worth anything it took to make it to that spot. Be relentless today in your pursuit of your own success. And do me a favor before we leave. Stop whatever you're doing. Comment below and scream at the top of your lungs. Come through if you are thankful that God woke you up this morning because you know gratitude is the absolute best way for you to start your day. And if you're not thankful this morning for anything, then before you start being relentless into that success goal, into that goal for success, I want you to take some time and find at least one reason why you should be thankful. How about start with, oh my gosh, I am still alive. 
you know, this is not the ideal world that I want. It's not the ideal situation, but I am still alive. And if I'm still alive and I have enough sense to know that I'm still alive, that means I have enough sense to know that this life has opportunities waiting for me. I just got to show up. I have to stop using all of the trauma and stuff that has happened to me in the past or could be happening to me now as an excuse to stop going. Because I'm not a failure. And I'm not going to quit on myself. And I'm not going to quit on my future. Today, I'm going to decide to do something for me. So thank you, God, for another opportunity that we like to call a new day. But you guys know what it is. If you don't remember anything I just said, always remember this. It is and always will be a great day to be alive. It's a great day to be great. And it's a great day to find the greatness in you. Be relentless today and go out there and live the greatest day of your life.